Hi you guys! This is Black and Blue and I don't know about you but I'm ready to get into today's savings challenge video. Let's go! This is Black and Blue. Go ahead. What's the crime? An attempt to watch and not subscribe? Yep, that's a crime. Friends don't let friends watch and not subscribe. So <laughs> come on, let's get into the video. Happy St. Patrick's Day! Oh my god, I love I actually love this holiday. I never go out or anything, but I just love St. Patrick's Day. So happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. I don't normally post on Sundays, but I want to post today because I'm doing something a little special. A little I guess you could say different, but I've done it one other time. And if this box is ringing any bells for you guys, <laughs> Stick around. <laughs> I'm not going to do it right now. I'm going to get into my savings challenges because there's a couple challenges that I'm mainly focusing on today and that's because I want to finish them so I can unbox them or unstuff them. I mean, not unbox. <laughs> I'm so used to doing unboxings, but I want to finish those challenges. So I'm going to do that today. Then I'm going to get into this. So if you're interested in what might be in here, then make sure you guys stick around and we'll talk about it. Okay, let's get into today's savings challenge video. I'm so excited. We're going to count some money. We're going to go ahead and jump right into those challenges because, like I said, I'm just excited to finish them. And today's Sunday, which is such an off day for me. It's not a normal post day, which is kind of fun. It's like a bonus video <laughs> with goals. I've got goals. So I need some fingertip moistener because... Oops, because... I am getting ready to count this money and some of these bills are so new. I had to find fives and singles and I had to do some condensing off camera to try and locate some some singles and fives that I needed. So that was challenging. But let's go ahead and we're done with this. Okay. Let's go ahead and start counting how much money we're going to be stuffing today. We're not going to stuff all of this. I'm only going to stuff what I need to finish these couple of challenges. And then the rest is going to be saved for my actual real savings challenge video because today's not it. <laughs> so we have 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 80, 95, 300. It's so nostalgic using this cash tray again. It's so crazy. Five, oh, let's add it in. Five, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 60, 70, 28. I am hoping we have enough to finish one of the challenges because I have to use singles on it. What was that? 28. So 393. It looks like we're going to be stuffing today. If possible, we won't be stuffing all of it. The goal is not to stuff all of it because I do have a challenge video that I need to do. So hopefully we don't. We'll see. Let's go ahead and start with the one that needs the singles badly. So we'll start with this one. And... I believe 90 was the one I needed to do next. Yep, so 90. And I am, I'm doing this different. If you're new here, I am doing this challenge in a way where I'm adding up the numbers on each envelope. I've done it so many times where I put the actual number on here. So I'd put $90 in this one envelope, but this time around I want to do something fun. So I'm adding up the numbers on here and nine plus zero is nine. So we're gonna stuff $9. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm so excited. I'm doing so many envelope challenges. They're, they kind of became my favorite at the end of last year, beginning of this year. So I have been going hard on them. Okay, that was 90. 91 is already stuffed. I can see right through the envelope. So 92, nine plus two is 11. I only had 110. 
Oh gosh, I hope I don't need another tag. I love putting money in these envelopes. It's so, it's fun. The act of actually stuffing them is actually really fun. So 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh man, I need another 10. I don't have enough 10s. I should have made change for 10s. You know what, hold on, I'm gonna make change. Okay, I swapped out $60 out of 20s and got $60 worth of 10. So I got six tens to work with. Let's try this again. So 9, 10, 11, 12, 9, 10, 11, and 12. I love, when I open these envelopes, I'm like pulling on the cloud. These envelopes are envelopes that I had custom made because I had the idea that scalloped clouds would look so pretty in our cash envelopes. So I contacted a manufacturer and went through measurements and everything else to see if they could make them for me. Like the measurements of each bump, how far down I wanted the bumps and all of that. And I absolutely love them. So 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 10, 11, 12, 13. I'm so excited. If you guys like these envelopes and you've been wanting to get the savings challenge for them, it's still a work in progress, but I have to say you guys, it's looking good. It's looking good. And I just can't make any promises yet because I, ha I haven't seen anything. So 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. But I've been working some, I've been working, I've been going in on numbers and everything, trying to figure out and persuade the manufacturer to make them for me again because they swore they wouldn't make them anymore. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, mainly because they said I was really picky and I am. If they don't look good or they're not done right, I want them to do them right. So they didn't like how picky I was about these. True. They did not like me. But <laughs> they're so beautiful and so many people want them. I am. I went back and I'm trying to talk to them. So we'll see. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I will say that if I do come out with them or if they show and prove that they can make them the way I want them to exactly right, where there's not a whole bunch of messed up ones that I have to trash, then I will do a pre-order for them. That means that I will be able to put an order in and I really want to see like how many people are wanting them. So I'll do a pre-order. Once orders come in, I'll be able to know and then... I'll get them mailed out to me and then I'll put the vinyl on each envelope and they do take a very long time putting vinyl down. It's not just a sticker, it's vinyl. So it's not just a wham, bam, they're all done situation. <laughs> 17. So they do take time, but the pre-order will be a little for like some time out, but I think it'll be worth the wait. These this challenge is beautiful. It's worth the wait. 10, 15, 16, 17. And I know there's so many people that have asked me about them on my shorts, on my YouTube videos, in my reels, on, on in my email for sure. 99 is 18. Oh my gosh. Oh, last 10. I literally grabbed the right amount of 10s. 15, 16, 17, 18. Oh my gosh, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. I am so excited right now. I am so excited. Go in. I'm doing it from such a weird angle right now. And the last one I think is just so funny because one plus zero plus zero equals one. Let me find a nice one. Do I have a nice one? Mm, not really. We'll do this one. <laughs> The nicer of them. One dollar in the 100 envelope. I am so excited to see how much is in here. And I don't know what this adds up to because I stuffed I stuffed inside here the number added on each envelope. So I don't know what that adds up to. So I'm super excited to do an unstuffing. If you guys aren't subscribed, make sure you're subscribed so you guys get notified when I do the unstuffing. I am, oh my god, I'm so excited. I'm just kind of looking through making sure I didn't forget anything. <laughs> but... This unstuffing is going to be so much fun. These envelopes are just so gorgeous. Looks like we did everything. If I go through here and I see I missed one, I'll have some, some money on the side ready to fill <laughs> as I unstuff. Okay, this one's done. We're good. Yes. 
the 100 envelope challenge for my shop is complete and i will be doing this again and again and again because it's so beautiful and i love it it's my favorite my favorite okay the door is closed on this one actually i kind of want to do a thumbnail picture okay thumbnail picture unlocked all right you guys i am so excited oh. okay that one is complete oh my god i'm so excited i get to do unstuffing now let's go ahead and jump into this envelope or this binder this one is also a binder from my shop that's my logo dripped by e i unstuffed this binder but i had two chat was it two i had two challenges left that i wanted to complete so that i could go ahead and unstuff these two but i need to finish these clouds and these lines so let me grab a marker I was trying to go in the order of the rainbow in here, but we just might have to, <laughs> we just might have to. You know, <laughs> let's see, okay. So, I don't know, I'm not a fan of messing up colors, but I am so freaking excited that, let's just do it. Okay, so that was five, 10, 15, $20. Where's the top? So this one's now done. So I can unstuff that one. I love unstuffing my challenges and that's the goal because once you're done saving, when you unstuff it, you get to then put that money in your high yield savings. And I have had some people ask me to talk about my high yield savings. Let me put this here. Okay, so I need to go ahead and mark off a lot of these, and each one is worth $10. Wait, was every was each one worth five in here? Wait, no, that was wrong. Did you guys notice that? I made each of these $10. I just put in 20. It should be 10, 20, 30, 40. 10, 20, 30, 40. Another 20. A lot of my challenges were each $5. So now I'm into the 10s, and I almost forgot. Okay, so let's see i don't have anything written down i haven't gone through and figured out what i would say in a whole video for a high yield savings talk about but i will talk a little bit about it because it is a quite simple thing that i did for a high yield savings the really cool thing about those those savings accounts are the fact that you get to get a much larger interest on what you have in the account versus a normal checking and savings account at just a normal bank. Now, Capital One is kind of a normal bank. However, they have a high yield savings account that you can um, basically, how, what do you apply to have? I'll use the word apply. So that's 10, I need to do another 10 to get this 20. Now, the high yield savings account right now, I believe, is over 4.1% for Capital One. I don't pay too much close attention to it because my goal is to set it and forget it kind of thing, except when I'm adding money into it. So that's 20. And I went online because Capital One, there is one in Chicago, not near me, but it's really based online. So there's no real banks that you can just walk into and take money out and put money in it's really you got to rely on online banking which i am completely okay with because my high yield savings is something i want to add to and hopefully never have to take from unless it's obviously something that i'm putting in there for a certain reason but if it's for a certain reason it's a reason that i'm not thinking i'm going to need anytime soon however I am able to get to that money by transferring it to my normal bank and it's actually quite easy to do. This hand looks crazy. <laughs> so that's another 20. So, oh wait, no, 10, 20, 30, 40. Okay, yeah, that's right. So for my high yield savings, I add money to it and I'll unstuff my savings challenges when they're completed. I'll put them in my 
long-term savings binder but when i do a bill exchange that's because i want to swap out the money with my prop bills which is just placeholders letting me know how much i put into the bank and then i transfer that money to my high yield savings where it makes way more money than any other account that i have so i love my high yield savings account so easy to get if i have a code or anything i'll put it down below i don't know if capital one has codes or anything where you can get an incentive for joining i'm not really sure i didn't use one but if there is one i wish i would have used it but <laughs> that's okay and we're done Oop. and we're done <laughs> so that's one more 20 i think wait 20, 40, 60, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. We're done. We are done with this, thank goodness. I'm so excited because when I finish challenges, I'm able to go ahead and start new ones. And I have so many fun challenges, so many. I actually plan on going back to my old way of storing my savings challenges because one, I loved it and it's something that I started a while back because I had, I was a part of the sticker community, planning community, planning with stickers. And I had this item that I used like crazy. If you're an OG, you know what I'm talking about, but I'm going to bring it back because it, it helped me be able to do a lot of saving challenges and not be confused where stuff is or have a thousand envelopes because these binders can hold a lot, but not enough. <laughs> so I can't wait to show you guys that that's going to be that's going to be so much fun going back it's gonna be like a blast from the past kind of like this cash tray so let's go ahead and count how much is going to be in my saving challenge video this coming friday 20 40 60 80 100 5 10 15 25 35 45 55 56 57 58 59 60 61 62 20 40 60 80 100 What? 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55. Okay. So was that 162? I think 160 something. So that's what we're going to be stuffing for our savings challenge video. And that's actually a pretty decent amount because I just, I just knocked off a 100 envelope challenge that I won't be stuffing now on Friday and my cute little challenges. So I'm excited to see what challenges we're going to do. Stay tuned after that video because I'm going to be stuffing new challenges and entering them into the the corral. <laughs> so, all right. Now, like I was talking about in the beginning, I have something to show you guys. I just got so excited thinking about it. Okay. I just threw everything behind me on the floor. All right. I'm going to show you guys. First, I'm going to show you what's in the box. Now, I had a Valentine's Day box that I was working on with my mom and that was a super fun thing that we did it was we didn't really know what to do with it because we only had one and like i said in that video i wanted to try to do some kind of subscription and i want to do it in a fun way that you're not tied in every month but if you want to be in for the month you can be in for the month and it is really intricate in trying to figure it out because i'm only one person that blings like pens and everything else in my shop so I'm one person and I can only do so much before I have to like cut it off and there were so many people that would want to be in my subscription that I cannot possibly bling that many items every single month along with my normal volume of orders so I am having a really hard time trying to figure out my subscription because I have so many ideas and just not enough time in a day. However, we came up on another holiday and I was not planning on doing anything because my mind is still trying to work out what can I do in a month for a large amount of people and my orders. And I cannot wrap my brain around it. So I was not planning on doing anything. However, however, my mom decided to get a box and this box should look familiar because this was one of the options for my 100 envelope challenge like the one you guys just saw me do the 100 envelope box that's in my shop now she got a gold box 
like I had as an option. And then she got this pretty, I don't know how she did this. It's so cute though. It's a pot of gold and it's so perfect for St. Patrick's Day. A pot of gold with a three leaf clover. I think it's so beautiful. And then it's got the gold coins. This is so cute. I absolutely love this. Now what's inside is hilarious. These are just so funny to me. They're glasses and I'd put them on for you, but they're not going to be mine. These are super, super cute and fun. Now today is St. Patrick's Day. So whoever gets this is going to be maybe using this and saving for next year. I don't know, but you might not want to wear these until next St. Patrick's Day. I'm just saying, <laughs> unless you want to. I mean, green's my favorite color. Absolutely my favorite color. So my mom put these in here and then my mom blinged a 52 envelope challenge and she blinged the white in green vinyl. Wait, did I say bling? She vinyled the numbers on here. The white numbers have, or the white envelopes have green numbers and the black envelopes have white numbers. I thought this was so pretty. The green, I just love green so much. And green is actually not a color everybody loves. It's a color I love. But there's going to be some other items in here. And I will say that I am making a custom, custom bling pen for whoever wins this box. And what that means is I could have a mystery pen that I put in here, but I'm not gonna do that. I do have this pen. This is actually, it was in my shop. It still is, I believe, but I think it's marked as sold out. I'm catching up on orders right now and I am swamped and so excited to be swamped, <laughs> but I'm working on orders. So this is marked sold out, but this is an option for whoever wins. You're going to be able to decide. You're going to let me know what pen on my website you want. And I think that's just so much fun. So if you have an idea for a pen that I can do or you like a pen in my shop and that's the one you want added in here, I can do that. It can be this one. It can be whatever pen you see on my website. If it says marked as sold out, don't worry about it. Tell me which one you want and I will make it. That is going to be so much fun. I'm dying to see what somebody would request because you could also pick... I don't know, a pen with your name on it. You could pick um, something that I can do. I'll let you know if I'm able to do it or not because there's a lot of options and then there's a lot of things I can't do on blink pens. But uh, yes, that's one option. <laughs> so let me go ahead and show you guys because if you if you guys are here for the Valentine's Day box, we're doing kind of the same thing. So what we're doing is, let me move this to the side. I'm swamped with orders. So the item that you guys, if you guys like it, now listen, this box, I said this in the Valentine's Day one. If you guys are interested in what I'm about to show you, if you do decide to purchase one, if you're like, oh my God, that's so pretty, I would buy that. Then, then your order number would be entered into a possible chance to have this sent with your order now this is not something i want you guys to purchase some what i'm going to show you it's not something i want you to purchase only for the fact of trying to get this item because you may not get it it is so random and i don't know there there could be two people that purchase this item there could be 10 there could be a hundred i don't know so i'm going to show you guys what the item is i think it's so beautiful it, it's beautiful now, I'm going to show you guys what it is because right now, if you guys go to my my twin sister's shop, hers is pink X everything. And if you go to her shop, it's linked down below. This item is going to be there. You could buy one. You could buy 10. As long as you have one in your order, when you place your order, you will be entered into having a chance to have this sent to you and just like my valentine's day one you guys are going to watch me type in all of the order numbers in a video and then um and then you guys are going to see the randomizer just go like this and then pick a winner so i think it's going to be so cool i think it's going to be fun it was fun last time which is kind of why we're doing it again because one my mom just loves making stuff <laughs> so she my mom made this not me my mom did oh oop. and these envelopes aren't even in my shop anymore this challenge where there's no holes not in my shop i am working on trying to get them back in my shop you might get a little glitter on these just so you know because the glasses but i'm working on trying to get these envelopes back like i said earlier but as for right now 
this one could be snagged by someone let me show you guys what the item is that my sister is just now entering into her shop and partly is because i wanted it and partly is because i wanted it <laughs> so let me show you guys <gasps> Oh my gosh. You guys, I am seriously, this is going to be my wedding bouquet. I don't like real flowers that die in a matter of a few days. And this, these will never die. Oh my gosh. Look at the bottom. Okay. So not everybody likes flowers. Not everybody likes crochet. My sister crochets just about everything. If you want it, she'll figure out how to make it. Now, I asked her if she could make me flowers because I have flowers in my videos or these are really just leaves. This is not even a flower. I've had this for so long. <laughs> Where did I get this from? Main Walmart. Um, yeah, so I love having flowers in my videos. Something in this corner is what I love. But I really want it. And she knows my colors are Tiffany blue and white. You can always get one, like I said. You can get one or you can get seven. It's, it's up to you. You just need one flower in your order in order to be entered into here. And it was so funny and kind of cool. Not funny. It was cool because quite a few of you guys ordered multiple times for my Valentine's Day box. You guys ordered the little keychain that I had. And you would place like an order, add the keychain, place another order, add the keychain. And a lot of you guys did that. And I thought it was so cool. I'm like, those people really wanted this. Not this one, but one of that Valentine's Day box. So many people. So I'm curious to see how many people want this one. I'm just curious. I'm just curious. But <laughs> I'm going to watch my sister's website because it's so fun. I love watching my own website, but I'm going to watch hers. I'm catching up on orders, so I definitely will be working on orders and just watching her website. But this is what it looks like. I think this is so freaking beautiful. Now, I was trying to figure out what to put mine in because I'm not really a vase girl. I don't have a bunch of vases laying around. And then I also was curious if I could bend these. I could have just asked her, but I didn't ask her. So I'm going to see if I can bend them. Oh my gosh. That's, that's with something very low, but I want to see if I can bend them. You guys see, this is like my piggy bank. Oh my God. Please don't let me snap these. I will cry. <laughs> Oh my God, look at that, they bend. Oh yeah, my sister is a genius. And this jar is in my shop. <laughs> oh my, oh, wait. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Wait, there's my name. This is so cute. Okay, I am so excited right now. Oh my gosh, look at this, oh, look at this. I'm like a grandma. <laughs> I'm like a grandma. Oh my God, I love it. If I want white flowers for the day, bam, I got white flowers. If I just want Tiffany blue with a little bit of white, <laughs> bam. This is so cute. I'm a sucker for cute things. Okay. If you guys would like the chance, if you already like this and you're like, I would totally buy this. This is on my sister's website and this will be a chance you'll have a chance to win. Now the time frame that you guys have is one week. So one week and then I'll be contacting the winner. I will one week and I'll be posting the video of picking the winner and then I will speak to the winner and have them tell me which pen they want because I have to make it in order to add it to here and then send it to them. So I love this. Okay, I could play with this. All. This is so cute. I love them you guys will definitely see these in the future and i wasn't planning on leaving it in here but now i feel like i have to because this is so cute although i do love my top okay i'm gonna have to make another one of these for myself i have these in my shop so i will most definitely make myself another one i could okay i, I will literally sit here and play with this i really think i would make this my wedding bouquet though like no joke Oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. All right, I'm going to get out of here, you guys. I had a blast with you. I don't know how I make videos so long because we're at 30 minutes. Who knew? Actually, 31. Okay, I'm going to get out of here. Pink X everything. Make sure you guys are subscribed to her. Make sure you're subscribed to me. And let me know down below what you guys think. <laughs> I'm out of here. Bye.